dear all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering in this session i will be discussing an overview about the updated question paper of basic electrical engineering we will be having a brief discussion on what are the different type of questions what kind of questions will be asked likewise let us get started moving on to the first question see this question number 1 and 2 both are from the first module let us move on to the first question illustrate with examples krichov laws as applied to electric circuit you have to explain kcl and kvl okay kcl and kvl with a suitable example any example you can able to take and how about the analysis of circuit by using kcl and kvl you can add uh, the statement of kcl and kvl as well so uh, you will be getting 8 marks prove that the circuit efficiency during maximum power transfer from source to load is only 50 percentage here what you are supposed to do is you need to state maximum power transfer theorem first then you can calculate the maximum power pm you can calculate then you have to take care about ps then take the ratio between pm and ps then prove that pm by ps into 100 is equal to 50 percentage correct so we can able to prove in that manner moving on to the third sub question the third sub question you can able to read the equation for ac voltage is given by v is equal to 0.04 sin 2000t plus 60 degree volts determine the frequency angular frequency and instantaneous voltage when time t is equal to 160 microseconds very simple question first of all you have to write one standard equation v is equal to uh, vm into okay vm into uh, sin omega t plus uh, phi correct from this you will be getting all the information so if you talk about the frequency you know frequency means f how to calculate f so you know that omega is equal to 2 pi f right from this you can able to calculate f here omega will be directly available omega is equal to 2000 so from this you can able to calculate the frequency simple question and also you can able to calculate instantaneous voltage so very simple put t is equal to how much 160 microsecond 160 into 10 to the power minus 6 second that you can able to substitute here then you are able to get the instantaneous voltage okay moving on to the second question define rms value of ac show that uh, rms value is proportional to maximum value so you have to prove that uh, vrms equal to vm by root 2 and uh, the sub question 2 the circuit comprises of 12 ohm 18 ohm 36 ohm respectively joined in parallel then connected in series with a power resistance the whole is supplied at 60 volt and it is found that power dissipated in 12 ohm resistance is 36 watts determine the value of fourth resistance and total power dissipated in the group so first of all you have to draw the circuit then only you will get it so circuit will be like this only three resistors right three resistors all are connected in uh, parallel then you will be connecting with unknown resistance and uh, everything will be supplied at uh, 60 volt right 60 volt 60 volt here you have to put the value so 12 ohm uh, then 18 ohm 36 ohm like like this correct this is unknown resistance here very simple first you calculate uh, the voltage here you can able to calculate voltage across these branches you can calculate it using the formula uh, p is equal to v square by r v square by r from this you calculate v v is equal to root of pr correct afterwards you can able to you compute the total current i you can able to calculate okay so i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 you can use the kcl so detailed discussion will be done in the next video i'll be discussing the overview okay now question number c justify the pure inductor does not consume any power when connected across the single phase ac supply here you have to prove that the average power consumed by a pure inductor that is equal to zero you can use the integration and you need to know the basics of trigonometry i have already done the same portion in the basic electrical playlist you can go through that in the next video definitely i will show you the answer key question number 3 demonstrate that two watt meters are sufficient to measure power in three phase balanced star connected circuit with the help of neat circuit diagram and the phasor diagram here you are supposed to draw the particular circuit diagram for two watt meter method then you need to prove that p is equal to w1 plus w2 okay you can able to calculate p is equal to w1 plus w2 okay and also you can draw the phasor diagram very simple one then question number b that is related to an Uh, rl circuit so you need to know the basics of rl circuit what is rl circuit 
RL circuit which is connected to AC supply. Okay, draw the circuit diagram and uh, you need to know how to calculate the current. I is equal to V by Z, right? V by Z, where Z is nothing but V, uh, v divided by square root of R square plus XL square. R square plus XL square. Using the simple formula, you can able to make out. Then deduce the relationship between phase and line voltages of a three phase star connector system. So you have to prove that line voltage is equal to root 3 into phase voltage. This you are supposed to prove. So that is the target. Okay. So using the phaser diagram, you can able to make out. First of all, draw the phaser diagram. From that, you can able to make out. And use the parallelogram of vector addition. It is very easy. So you will get uh, 6 marks. Then develop an equation of power consumed by RL series circuit. Draw the waveforms of voltage, current and power. So first you need to understand the basics of RL series circuit. Then uh, you need to draw the phaser diagram. Okay. Uh, then you have to draw the waveforms of current, voltage and power. You have to mention that in case of RL circuit, the voltage uh, leads the current at an angle of phi. And also the problem related to star connection. So you need to know the basics of star connection. Okay, what is the relation between line voltage and phase voltage, line current and phase current. Then how to calculate the three phase power. PL is equal to root 3 VLIL uh, cos phi. From this you have to calculate the current. IL you are supposed to calculate. It. Clear? IL you are supposed to calculate. It. So I will be doing that in the next video. See, another question based on two watt meter method. W1 and W2 they have provided. Supply voltage is also given. You are supposed to calculate the power. Power is nothing but W1 plus W2. Power factor there is a formula. You have to recall the formula. And the current you can able to compute very easily. Okay. So uh, these are the basic uh, questions which can expect from uh, module 2. Then module 3. Explain the working and operations of DC generator. Uh, you, can, you have to explain with the... Uh, the working like uh, Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and also you have to explain the components of DC generator such as field system uh, then in that field system there are different components pole, pole shoe, yoke etc. Then you have to talk about the armature in that you have to mention about commutator, brushes etc. And also the, you have to explain the importance of back EMF that is in the next question. What are the importance of back EMF? With the help of a proper equation you can explain very easily. Okay, equation, main equation you have to mention like uh, equations of EB. What is EB? EB means V minus IAR, right? V minus IAR. Okay, based on this equation you can easily explain. Then there is a problem. Here you have to use the equation. So, generated EMF. EG is equal to, very simple, uh, 5 7 by 60 into P by A. 5 7 by 60 into P by A. Here the thing is, uh, while selecting the number of conductors are parallel path A, for lap winding, A is equal to P. A is equal to P for lap winding, uh, A is equal to 2 for wave winding. That point you have to take into consideration. Then question number 6, discuss the various type of losses in transformer. You have to speak about uh, copper loss and core loss. And again core loss is segmented into hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. Okay, then with the usual notation develop the torque equation. So you have to develop the torque equation. Ta is equal to uh, 0 0.159, 159 into phi into uh, z into uh, p into ia by a, ia by a. This equation you are supposed to derive. Then the transformer. There is a problem related to transformer. So you need to know the transformer EMF equation. EMF equation of transformer you should know. Then equation for transformation ratio. If you know the equation of transformation ratio and EMF equation, you can solve this problem very easily. Let us solve in the next video. Then module number 4. So you can see the questions. How rotating magnetic field is set up in case of three phase induction motor. You have to explain the, the principle of rotating magnetic field. So phi m is equal to, phi is equal to 1.5 into phi m. Okay, that uh, you can explain with the help of parallelogram law of vector addition. Then you have to explain the slip. What do you mean by slip? You have to explain the derivation and uh, the frequency, rotor frequency, F dash is equal to SF. That you are supposed to prove. Then another question is related to the, what I can say, the e, uh, the the synchronous speed. You, sh you should know the equation of synchronous speed. N is equal to 120 F by P. 120 F by P. And you need to know how to calculate the slip. So that is a, another question. Uh, very simple one. 